are you giving away too much money by the end of this right here you're gonna either be very upset or you really didn't catch it you might want to rewind it a few times but in this example it's gonna be a really quick really quick presentation in this example let's say you're single you have no kids and you don't have a business okay so remember that let's go into it tax season comes yay everybody's excited everybody's jumping up and down I'm getting my refund I'm gonna go ball anyway you make $25,000 a year your personal exemption is going to give you back $4,050 your standard deduction is going to save you $6,300 business deductions well you don't have any because you don't have a business so you don't save anything there your taxable income is $14,600 now if you did have a business you could have written off five thousand to ten thousand dollars more and reduced your taxable income down to a few thousand but that's for later on we'll, we'll touch on that later let's just get back to the fact that your taxable income right now is fourteen thousand six hundred dollars all right at this tax bracket you're gonna pay nine hundred and thirty two dollars and fifty cents plus fifteen percent of the excess over ninety three hundred dollars so let's do the math real quick. You start off with 14,600, you subtract to 9,300, now you're at 5,200. All right? We're going to take that 5,200, we're going to figure out what 15% of that excess is, which is $791.25. You don't have to worry about doing all this math because guess what? Your tax professional <laughs> does all this for you. They figure all this out. But this is the, really the basic math behind figuring out your taxes. This is what everybody's afraid of. This is why you don't need to be afraid of the IRS because they're just using numbers that are published. And all you have to do is apply your numbers to what's published and you figure out what's taxes. Anyway, let's get into it. Uh, 791 plus the 932. That's up here. That's your standard. That's your flat. You come up with total taxes due of 1723 and 75 cents. Please get the cents in there. All right. Here's the problem. Throughout the entire year, you paid $4,500, which is about 18% of that $25,000. Check your, just look at your last paycheck and figure out how much taxes they took out in federal taxes, how much came out. You'll be surprised. So that means that you let the government borrow $2,700 too much. Okay, They got a nice interest-free loan while you struggled paycheck to paycheck the entire year. And guess what? Since they're going to do it to you again this year, you never really get that money back. It's a constant revolving $3,000 loan just about that you never end up getting back because they're doing it to you right now. As soon as you get your tax refund, it's okay because they just got three months of withholdings from you right then and there. You know, So that right there should go ahead and tell you that there's something wrong or something that you can't do anything about and it's just happening to you. Okay? A sin is something that you do. A curse is something that happens to you. So I kind of feel like, you know, we're all basically cursed with this thing. But is there a solution? The solution, income shifting with my econ. That's part of what this whole group is about. This paychecks up thing is about income shifting. We teach you how to basically get your money back in every paycheck, apply business strategies and business deductions to be able to reduce it so that you don't owe Uncle Sam anything at the end of the year and he don't owe you anything. You keep all your money throughout the year and at the end of the year you file your taxes correctly and you don't owe anything. Okay, for a free video of how the whole my econ system works, just go to paychecksup.com. You can watch that and definitely get back to the person sharing this video so you can sign up and get more strategies, software. You know, we have a system, we also have a support system, we have millionaire mentors in this thing. Okay, self made millionaires. So, you definitely want to learn from somebody who's made a million, lost a million, and then got it back using strategies okay once you learn how to do something you never you never really forget I mean it's kinda like riding a bike plus my econ it also qualifies you as a business so you can write off your lifestyle but that's it guys get back to the person stop paying too much money okay hope that hopefully that broke it down for you if it didn't just go back and rewind it ask me inbox me jerry at jerrygoins.com um, and I'll Try to break it down for you even simpler than that, but get back to the person that invited you to this so that you can start shifting your income and stop paying too much. Stop paying too much. Why do you want to do that? I don't, I don't know.